I grew up in Tampa, Florida. Um, my family uh, were immigrants from Cuba, not uh, during the Castro era, but before. They worked in cigar factories. They uh, were um, union organizers and really a strong commitment to family and to, I guess I would say, they would probably say class justice. The idea that nobody's going to give you uh, anything, that you have to work together with your counterparts if you're going to get better schools, if you're going to have better benefits at work, a better salary, uh, health care, these sorts of things. And that idea, uh, I think, probably seeped into me as I was growing up. My grandparents, my grandfather in particular, who was a pretty radical labor organizer in his day, um, talked a lot about that. So a lot of my ideas around uh, that you, you can't take justice for granted, but you have to work for it, um, really come from my family. I was uh, the first kid from my high school to go to Harvard. I got up north on a dare for my mother to apply uh, to Harvard College. Never in a million years. I mean, sure didn't know what that was. I'd never seen snow. I'd never been north of Washington, D.C. and um, didn't own a coat. Uh, so I landed uh, back in uh, about 24 years ago now. Uh, landed in uh, September of 1986 in Cambridge, Massachusetts without much of a clue about what to expect. But, um, but rather quickly uh, became immersed in a new community, not one that was based in my, my family unit, my extended family uh, back in Tampa, but one in uh, fellow uh, Harvard freshmen uh, and other students uh, who were part of the real political community that I became involved with in college. I came out, I first came out to friends when I was 15 in my junior year in high school, then to family when I was sort of 16, 17, my parents. Um, very kind of Cuban coming out. You know, I'm talking to this guy that I'm interested in dating and my mother's listening on the phone because <laughs> there's no privacy at all, nor should there be any expectation. And then there was an explanation I had where we kind of discussed it with some words that were loudly expressed and eventually we figured it all out. It took a couple of years, but we reached our peace and um, my mother and my father and really my entire family has been uh, wonderful in their embracing of me as an equal partner uh, in our family experience. Well, I, you know, I, I grew up in a Latino family. Uh, I grew up gay, openly gay, since I was 15. They're, di they're alike in some ways and different in others. Perhaps one of the most important differences is that because of my last name, because of people in my family who speak with accents, because the fact that we, we speak Spanish and the food we eat and all these other kind of cultural markers, it is often extremely clear to somebody that my ethnic background is different than theirs, and that it's an ethnic background that, at least in the United States, is called minority, and in many cases, in many places, is considered less than. Being gay is a little different. You don't wear that on your sleeve. It's not part of your last name. It isn't in your accent. And so the first and foremost difference is that you actually have to come out and tell people that orientation. You have to invite people to understand that you, that's not to say that people can't be discriminated against because they're perceived to be gay. That wasn't the question. The question is, you know, how is it different? And an important difference is I have to announce my inequality. I have to announce to people my difference, my sexual orientation as not the majority's sexual orientation, which opens me up to discrimination. I was born subject to that because of my ethnic background as a Cuban-American, as a Latino. Um, and that's a very important difference. Now, in some other ways, some other ways, not much of a difference at all. I think I'm a lot more understanding and empathetic to the debate around immigration in the United States because of my experience as a gay man, uh, as an outsider. I'm much more uh, open and to, and I think it was probably much more easy for me to engage around civil rights, uh, around the equality of lesbian gay families and lesbian gay people in the workplace and in the military because of my cultural experience growing up uh, in a blue-collar neighborhood where I was raised with stories by my grandparents and my parents of discrimination based on our ethnic background.